Hi, it's Belinda Marchese, uh, Executive Director of Hospice Fawn here at our annual holiday open house cheer. As we approach the end of the year, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to reflect about the kindness of our community. We're a community-based hospice that's been servicing the Vaughan community for over 25 years with compassionate care for people at home, as well as support for their caregivers and those that are bereaved. Today, we have our Hospice Vaughan staff team here together to celebrate and engage our community to make sure that they're aware that we're here to help provide support at home. And we're really excited about the future as we embark on opening our residential hospice in 2020. Uh, we need a lot of support from our community. We want people to know how they can access programs and support. And we want to make sure that people know that they can volunteer and be part of the caring, compassionate community here in Vaughan. So uh, come uh, and get involved with Hospice Vaughan. Uh, you can reach out to us through our website at hospicevaughan.com or call us at 905-850-6266. Is this a non-profit or government organization? <coughs> and who are those people and eligible to use your service? For sure. Um, Hospice Vaughan is a charitable organization. Uh, we receive a small amount of core funding from the Ministry of Health for our community hospice program. We are 88% funded through our private donors and community citizens and friends. Uh, we have corporate and business sponsors as well that help support our current programs as well as key feature events. When we open up our residential hospice, we'll ex uh, expand our services to a final resting of uh, 10 residential hospice beds and we'll receive additional uh, funding as well for that. What was the other question? So, is, <coughs> is, is it? What about demand and supply? Okay. Then is it is that the demand kind and what you can offer? For sure. Yeah. For sure. So, um, uh, the hospice uh, supports are growing every year. Uh, we provide uh, community palliative supports. Uh, Shannon runs our community hospice program in helping palliative individuals and family caregivers. Sean runs our grief and uh, bereavement counseling professional services. Uh, along with Wendy and Daniela runs our volunteer services program. Uh, last year we served 440 individuals uh, through our community programs. Uh, the need for our services is growing exponentially every year. Uh, people are facing declining health issues um, as they're approaching their end of life but they're living so we focus on the life and living of those we serve. And uh, aging, uh, aging rates are increasing in our community as well as people dealing with advanced and chronic and end of life care needs. So our services continue to grow. And a really important uh, highlight for people to know in the community is we're very much volunteer based while we're uh, eight staff at Hospice Vaughan. It's over uh, hundreds of volunteers that provide compassionate care that get involved with our programs and events. Um, here at Hospice Vaughan in our current site we run a day program as well as volunteers that go directly into the home. So volunteers are the cornerstone in the heart of our community and we're very grateful for the support. Okay, uh, last question. Is that government funding? Any help from community can like come and grow or help hospice more? For sure. Um, more than 90% uh, of our funding comes from our community supporters. So we have individual people that donate to hospice. Uh, we also have business communities that provide support. We're able to access grants. Uh, we really rely on the community. The philosophy of hospice care is it's for the community, from the community. So the donations of kindness and people's time and as well as monetarily help us to run our programs and services at no charge to those that we serve. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. We hope that everyone enjoys time with loved one as the year and the celebration, the year ends and the celebrations are to come. We hope that everyone has peace and happiness and good health for the for the new year. Thank you.